So yet another update from Amazon making changes to our devices and breaking things that were working before. Now in my last video when I explained how the update blocker which allows you to block system updates from Amazon doesn't work anymore on the 4K Fire Stick which runs Fire OS 6. But on the Fire OS 7 devices like the Fire Stick Lite or the Fire Stick Max or the second generation Fire TV Cube that process was still working until today. So once again, we see when I start the update blocker, I make a connection. I now want to select, you can see that the update blocker detects that I am on Fire OS 7. If I now say I want to block the updates, let's click on that. And we now get this error basically telling us that those processes that we were previously stopping we have no access to control them anymore. So Amazon have now completely blocked that process. It doesn't matter if you're on the 4K Fire Stick or the second generation Fire TV Cube, we can no longer stop those updates coming from Amazon. Now you may be thinking, what's the big deal? I mean, Amazon must be sending us good updates, good fixes, good applications. Well, I think the main issue is the lack of control. So this is my second generation Fire TV Cube. I purchased this myself. I want to have that control of my device. So if I don't want the new home screen layout and I don't want to use any of these sponsored applications like IMDb TV or Amazon Music, why can't I choose the applications I put on my own device? And that really is one of the things that you lose because at any time Amazon can push these applications onto your device, push these updates onto your device, and we now have no way of controlling them. And it's not just updates or applications. These updates can even break basic functionality on your device. Now, the last few days on my private chat group, lots of people have been messaging me that on the 4K Fire Stick, we no longer have the ability to clear the cache of those pre-installed applications. So if we jump over to my 4K Fire Stick now, here we can see on my 4K Fire Stick, I'm running the latest update, which is 6.2.8.1. And on this update, we can no longer block those updates from Amazon but we've also lost the ability to clear the cache of those pre-installed applications. So, I mean, it's bad enough that Amazon pushed these applications on our device, things like your Amazon Kids or Amazon Music or Live Shopping. We get these applications on our device, but we can now no longer clear the cache on them. So if I click on Amazon Photos, we can see that process gets terminated straight away and we're kicked back to the settings page. So if I go back into that, back into manage install applications. Let's try the live shopping, click on that. And again, we're booted out. And this really highlights the issue of having these updates pushed from Amazon because as you can see, the broken functionality of our devices and because I had no way of blocking those updates, my devices are now also impacted. Whereas in the ideal world, I can control the updates to my device. Even if Amazon pushed this update out, I would have seen reports online telling people that this has now broken the cache clearing functionality, which just confirms to me that I don't want this update. I would wait for a newer update to come out. And if I find that that latest update doesn't have any issues, I would then unblock those updates, get the update to my device and then just move on. So, and that's basically the control we had with the update blocker. But unfortunately, Amazon have now blocked that process. And as I said in my last video, today it's the update blocker. Tomorrow it may be custom launchers and in the future it may even be third party applications. So Amazon do have complete control of our devices and it's really up to them to do whatever they want, make any changes that they want and really just do whatever they like. Even though I've purchased this device, the device is mine. I paid for it. I'm not renting it. Why can't I have that control on my device? And talking about Amazon having complete control of our devices, YouTube also have complete control about the videos that we make on the platform. Now, recently I received another strike on this channel because YouTube thought this video, which was just the official sports TV application available directly on the Amazon and the Google Play Store, they deemed that this application was harmful and dangerous. So even though this application is completely legal, completely official, because of that automation process, they just take down your video, they give you a strike, and I have no way of communicating with you, posting videos, creating community posts. I'm completely locked out of my account for seven days. So this is one of the reasons why I did create my secondary channel, my Tech Doctor UK Extra channel, where as you can see, I've been posting new videos, updates to older videos, 
and of course live streams. So I do urge you guys to please subscribe to that channel with all notifications. And if anything happens to my main channel, I still have a method of creating videos, creating content and sharing it with you guys. So really appreciate your support. Do leave me a comment below. How far do you think Amazon will go with these changes? Do you think they'll block custom launches next or even third party applications? Leave a comment and let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.